Gordon Freeman in the flesh. Or rather, in the hazard suit. Rise and shine, you two. This is the G-Man in the flesh. Or rather, in the paper craft. Hi everyone, welcome to our GameCraft channel. Uh, today we'll be reviewing the G-Man model, which we've constructed on the same scale as most of the other characters that we've done for Half-Life. Who is this man? We have no idea. Absolutely no idea. 20 years later, we still have no idea who this man is. And will we ever know? <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> no other character in the entire Half-Life franchise is so shrouded in enigma as the G-Man. In the first game, he was so much more of a background character, and you, you didn't realize the, the, the sphere of his influence yet. But by the second game, you realized he, he was, he was the, the puppet master controlling the entire scene. Yeah, the G-Man lurks in the shadows most of the time, and it kind of seems that he's with you your entire journey through Half-Life. Yeah. Every pivotal moment, he seems to show up as if he knew it was already going to happen, and if he had put you in that position because he knew the outcome. It's like he pops up in the most convenient places, and he's almost pulling the strings the entire time. So this model itself is actually made out of normal paper. The other models that I've done that are bigger are usually made out of cardstock, which is much tougher and hard. Usually the models that I do on a smaller scale are going to be done with regular paper. Which you then went back and laminated it. It's much harder to make the smaller models with the thicker cardstock. Unlike other models that I've made on the bigger scale, like the Big Mama Gun Art, or the um, Gargantua that I've made, which are made out of the cardstock material, which is a lot tougher. There's a lot of details that go into the smaller figures. Uh, it is kind of harder to construct. Yeah. If you're to put this model up to one of the bigger ones, you'll actually realize how much detail is actually um, done on a smaller scale. So the asset for this character is known as the G-Man. It's never actually said in the game what his name is. We only know it because we've dug through the files. Yeah, the model was called G-Man. Which I think that ultimately stood for government man. Yeah, government man. That's like an old term for an FBI agent. One of the things I love that this model incorporates is that when we were kids and playing around with no clip, which would allow you to pass through walls and models and whatnot, you zoomed into the, the G-Man's briefcase and you could see what was inside of it. You actually incorporated that into it? Yeah, that is actually like a big finding, I think, that when we were first playing the game, looking inside his briefcase and saying, oh man, did, did you know that the G-Man has this stuff in his briefcase? Yeah, he's got like an ID and a pistol. Uh, yeah, he's got he's got a gun. He's got some kind of ID card, I guess, to access different places. And I remember I was thinking, like, how do you get how do you get through Black Mesa? How do you get through all that crap? Oh, he's got a pistol in there. It kind of made him seem more human, actually. It did, it did. And I love that they incorporated that into it, even though they never used it in the game. It was there. Yeah, you actually playing the game, you won't actually know that this stuff is in there, but it's there, and it's in the model. Right, exactly. But that I incorporated it into the model just shows you like the level of attention that I took on this character. Yeah, makes it more like an action figure. Right, exactly. And it's it's almost like an exact replica. Exactly. It is an exact replica. For... So if you stay tuned to our channel, if you'd like to subscribe, uh, we are currently working on some other things with our channel to give uh, more insight on the paper craft the designs and the creations that we have. We're always interested in hearing your feedback on our creations. Please leave us a comment below. We also have some other links in the description if you'd like to follow our other pages as well. If you're interested, just step into the portal and I will take that as a yes. Thank you everyone for watching our GameCraft video. We look forward to making some new videos in the future. Thanks you guys for watching and help us bring games to life. Time to choose. It's time to choose.